in my M104 Patriot vs S400 SAM. Here's why Russia's S400 surface-to-air missile is a dud. Threat detection, tracking and targeting solution are the first steps in missile defense. This is a big problem for any land-based ballistic missile defense system operating in an urban environment, not to mention if the country does not have flat terrain and produces lots of clutter. It doesn't matter how good interceptor missiles are if a crappy radar system works as fire control and illumination radar. In the Ukraine war, the Patriot missile defense system played an excellent role in defeating ballistic targets, aircraft, and cruise missiles. Russia has been launching the Kinzhal hypersonic missile, an air-launched variant ballistic missile of the Iskander family from Russian MiG-31K jets towards Kiev. According to the Ukrainian Air Force, the Patriot Pak-3 MSE missiles successfully shot down hypersonic KH-47M2 Kinzhal, Iskander ballistic missiles, KH-55 cruise missiles and caliber cruise missiles. Russia deployed S-400 Triumph surface-to-air missile in the occupied Crimean Peninsula, Kherson, and Donetsk region. The Ukrainian military has been launching a barrage of drones, harm anti-radiation missiles and storm shadow cruise missiles at the Russian position. Contrary to Patriot missile successes, the S-400 surface-to-air missile systems repeatedly failed to intercept British-made storm shadow cruise missiles, drones, fighter jets, harm anti-radiation missiles and HIMARS artillery rockets in the Ukraine war. The S-300 and S-400 surface-to-air missiles also had a checkered past in Syria. According to manufacturer Almazanti, the S-400 missile should have intercepted cruise missiles, drones and fighter jets. What went wrong, and why did S-400 Triumph fail so miserably? India purchased the S-400 system worth $5.4 billion, Turkey spent $2.5 billion, and China spent $2.2 billion on the S-400 missile system. If you're an Indian, Chinese and Turkish national watching this video, I am sure you aren't surprised that the S-400 is underperforming in the Ukraine war. It was expected because Russia has been working on backwards compatible electronics and defense industries since the Soviet Union collapsed. With this context, let's analyze both S-400 SAM and Patriot missile defense systems and understand why Raytheon's MIM-104 Patriot is superior to S-400. MIM-104 Patriot Missile Defense System each Patriot battery consists of a truck-mounted launching system with eight launchers that can hold up to four missile interceptors each, a ground radar, a control station and a generator. Patriot's integrated air defense system can project air defenses out of some 965 kilometers. Patriot missiles can target and shoot down long-range ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and aircraft from 160 kilometers away at Mach 4.1 speed up to 24 kilometers altitude. The an mpq 65 a Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, radar has greater range and sharper discrimination with identification friend or foe, electronic counter-countermeasure and track via missile guidance subsystems. The an msq 132 Engagement Control Station is the nerve center of the Patriot firing battery. Due to Patriot's upgrade, PAC-3 operators can now see, transmit, and receive tracks on the Link 16 command and control network, greatly increasing the situational awareness of Patriot crews and other participants on the Link 16 network that can receive the Patriot local air picture. The most significant upgrade to the Pac-3 missile is adding a Ka band active radar seeker. The Lockheed Martin Missile Segment Enhancement (MSE) is a hit-to-kill interceptor missile, the M903 launching station, a fire solution computer and an enhanced launcher electronics system. MSE evolves from the Patriot Advanced Capability Pac-3 missile and substantially improves performance. S-400 Triumph Surface-to-Air Missile The S-400 missile system integrates a fire control radar, illumination radar, VHF radar, interceptor missile, launchers, and command and control center. The S-400 SAM system has four missile variants, 40 and 6 missile, 400 kilometers, 48 N6 missile, 250 kilometers, 9 M96 E2 missile, 120 kilometers, and 9 M96 E missile, 40 kilometers. 
Based on the customer's order, the S400 system comes with the Gamma C1 ESHF, Nebo M VHF and the Resonance NE mobile radar station for early warning radars and high-altitude radar coverage. The Russian propagandists claim that these are AESA radar, but these high-frequency antennas were manufactured in the early 2000s. There is nothing solid-state electronics about Russia's defense industries that would produce AESA radar. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com for an in-depth article about why Russia cannot manufacture AESA radar. The S-400's large 92N6E X-band radar has trouble tracking an incoming missile. How well would the tiny seeker head on 48N6E3 and 40N6 SAMS face? The most common type of missile, the 48N6E series, doesn't even have active guidance and continue to rely on semi-active radar homing, which puts them at a distinct disadvantage against a ballistic missile or hypersonic target, compared to the likes of Patriot's interceptor with active guidance and a dual-mode seeker, combining active homing with ground-based target illumination. None of the S-400's missiles are known to have dual-mode seekers. This Patriot's missile has far greater maneuverability resulting in much better accuracy and greater acceleration, a fact also highlighted by 48N6E3 carrying three times bigger warhead to compensate for its poor accuracy. 180 kilograms versus 73 kilograms. All long-range missiles of S-400, 48N6E and 40N6 suffer from the exact problem. A large warhead will not compensate for a missile detonating at significantly longer distances from a ballistic missile, poor accuracy, since the size of the shrapnel cloud doesn't work well against an incoming ballistic target hardened to withstand re-entry into the atmosphere. It just makes reliably intercepting ballistic missiles far more complex. Almazenti's original brochure of S-400's 92N6E radar has 185 kilometers tracking range against a 0.4 square meters RCS ballistic target and 340 kilometers for aircraft. That gives an S-400 battery about 65 seconds to engage a Mach 8 class ballistic missile. Claiming S-400 can engage targets at 400 kilometers is entirely misleading and Russian propaganda. The caveat here is that 0.4 square meters RCS used by the manufacturer is an unrealistic RCS for ballistic targets or cruise missiles whose RCS ranges between 0.1 to 0.01 square meters RCS depending on the type. This suddenly changes as the 92N6E radar's range decreases to 180 km and 73 km, respectively. So now the S-400 system has between 46 seconds to 25 seconds to engage a short-range ballistic missile and cruise missiles, which, to put it, isn't great at all. The S-400's real-world tracking range doesn't quite live up to the brochure figure, as demonstrated in Ukraine with S-400's inability to handle Mach 2.5 HIMARS rockets despite having more than 90 seconds engagement window on paper. If it has so much trouble handling Mach 2.5 HIMARS rockets which can be detected from boost phase, how well do you think S-400 would fare against much faster ballistic targets with roughly similar RCS? Patriot vs. S-400 Missile the Patriot can be integrated with THAAD Exoatmospheric Missile Defense System, NASAM's anti-air missile, satellite-based tracking and sensor suite in NATO Airborne Early Warnings aircraft via Link-16 data link. In short, Patriot missile operators can see and act on its radar and offboard sensor suites. I am confident that in the Ukraine war, the Patriot missile system received off-board target data about Russia's hypersonic cruise missile and Iskander ballistic missile from NATO satellite-based sensors. Similarly, NATO P-8A Poseidon assisted the Ukrainian army in launching Neptune cruise missiles to attack at Russian flagship Moskva cruiser. The S-400 can only integrate with Panzer short-range anti-air missiles. Panzer's questionable anti-air missile failed in Syria, Libya, Armenia, and Ukraine wars. The S-400 missile's 180 kg blast fragmentation warhead compensates for inaccurate interceptor missiles. Still, if the radar does not provide accurate target and interceptor missiles independently and accurately home onto the target, then the S-400 interceptor will fail.
Russia may have launched multiple interceptor missiles at Storm Shadow. However, Storm Shadow is a stealth cruise missile with a small RCS traveling at Mach 0.95 speed. Russia's S-400 radar does not know a low-altitude stealth object is flying towards the target. Hence, all missiles will fail regardless of how many interceptor missiles S-400 launches. Conclusion The Patriot has a more powerful radar, advanced sensor suite, and high-tech integrated command center better at discriminating and intercepting targets than the Soviet-era S-400 system the Russians have been using. The Patriot is a superior system by all measures, not to mention its super advanced hit to kill interceptor missiles. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.